Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to crochet a clock. You will need a DK yarn, 4mm crochet hook, something to cut the yarn, a tapestry needle and a clock mechanism. I got mine from eBay but you can buy them off Amazon as well and I'm sure other places sell them. We will start with a magic circle. Chain two and put 12 double crochets into that magic circle. When you get to the end, pull the tail but don't close it all the way. You need to leave a little gap to place it on the clock mechanism. Then slip stitch to the beginning of the round. Two, chain two and put two double crochet into that same stitch and then continue putting two double crochets in each stitch around for a total of 24 stitches. Get to the end slip stitch to the beginning of the round. Chain two and put two double crochets into that same stitch then one double crochet into the next stitch and that's going to be the pattern two double crochet, one double crochet all the way around when you get to the end slip stitch to the beginning of the round chain 3 and put a treble crochet into that same stitch then chain 2 you will skip a stitch and you put a treble crochet chain 1 treble crochet in the following stitch so you're going to create V's which are treble crochet, chain one, treble crochet and in between you're going to do two chain to separate them. And that's the second treble crochet and then you chain two, skip a stitch and do treble crochet, chain one, treble crochet in the next stitch and then two chain to separate. And you're going to do that all the way around. When you get to the end, slip stitch into the third chain at the beginning. Round 5, we'll start with a chain 1, then we'll put two single crochet into the V's and then two single crochets in the gaps in between the V's for a total of 72 stitches. So that will be two single crochets in every gap. When you get to the end, slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round. Then round six, start with a chain one, then half double crochet into the same space, and then half double crochet in every stitch around, for still a total of 72 stitches. When you get to the end, slip stitch into the beginning of the round. And this is what it should look like so far. 
round seven will be a round of puff stitches so there's no chain just pull the yarn a little bit and put the first puff stitch into that same space of this slip stitch we'll be pulling four up Pull the yarn through all the loops on your hook and then secure the stitch with a chain and then chain one and then skip a stitch and put your next puff stitch into the following stitch. So it's puff stitch, chain one, skip a stitch and puff stitch into the next one. And you're going to do that all the way around for a total of 36 puff stitches. When you get to the end, slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch of the round. Round 8, chain 1, then put a half double crochet into that same space. then two half double crochets into the big space. So it's one half double crochet on top of the puff stitch and then two half double crochets into the gaps for a total of 108 stitches. When you get to the end, slip stitch into the beginning of the round. And final round, round nine, start with a chain one, then a single crochet into that same space. Then you are going to skip a stitch and you're going to place five double crochets into the next stitch. That's one. Two, three, four, and five, and then you're going to skip two stitches and you're going to place a single crochet into the third stitch. So you're going to work this pattern over six stitches. Next one single crochet into the next space, skip a stitch, then five double crochets into the third stitch, then you're going to skip two stitches, one, two, place a single crochet into the next. So it's single crochet, skip a stitch, five double crochets, skip two stitches and then single crochet. And you are going to have a total of 18 waves. I don't know what they're called. Just finishing my last wave with skipping two stitches and a single crochet at the last stitch. Then slip stitch into the first single crochet at the beginning. Then pull your yarn, cut it, then pull it through the loop to secure it. Now we're going to quickly sew the tails in. The 
it really doesn't have to be too neat because it's going to be the back and it's going to be hanging on the wall no one's going to see it now to stiffen the project you have a few options I sprayed it with fabric stiffener at first a few times and it wasn't strong enough so I used PVA glue and water and I also put a circle of um, card behind it just to give it a bit more security but I am going to try one with um, cornstarch and water mix to see how that's going to work but you do what's best for you and how you think it's going to hold best and you can always also try a laminated sheet at the back instead of card then it's see-through maybe look better so I'm just going to show you how to put the mechanism after you stiffened it so you get this piece of plastic rubber whatever it is put that first then place your project on it press it all the way down then put the washer on shiny side up and then the nut secure it onto the piece With this mechanism I got three hands, which is the hour hand, the minute hand and the seconds hand. Now because they're so thin they might come a bit bent so you just need to pull them with your finger. It's very easy to straighten them. The hour hand, which is the short and the fat one, goes on first. Then it'll be the long fancy one, which is the minute hand. And then lastly goes the seconds hand. And that's it. My clock mechanism has got a hanging hoop, loop, whatever. Some of them don't have it, so just make sure you get one that's got something to hang with. And that's it that's your clock done just make sure you stiffen it because it's not it's not going to hold i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one